Hello and welcome into my attic. So in this video, I thought I'd share with you my sneaky little trick, which works very well, of what to do when you want to finish off your DIY project with some antiquing wax or colored wax or glaze, but you don't have any in your home. If you think that could interest you, then just keep watching. So just for a demonstration, I made these three little hearts out of cardboard and clay and stuck them together. Of course you can paint your pieces however you like, but I would recommend with uh, this technique to use a textured paint. So in my paint, just acrylic paint, I put some bicarbonate soda because that makes it nice and gritty. Um, you can put talc, you can put cornstarch, baking soda, whatever you prefer. Uh, but I find that the uh, baking soda or the bicarbonate soda has a grittier texture. So I used that. So I painted my little hearts with my white textured paint and when they was completely dry I randomly rubbed a white candle over the top of them um, because when I add my second colour on top uh, and distress it the paint will come off much more easier. So this is my top coat of paint and it's a beautiful country green colour. Now I'm lightly distressing the hearts with this uh, 220 grit sandpaper. So here they are finished and now it's time to add the sneaky little glaze. So before I show you how to do that, um, I'd just like to sh uh, show you the before and after um, so that you can get a better understanding of what I'm talking about here. So here I just wanted to show you the comparison between brushing on straight paint and brushing on the same paint that's been added to my sneaky little ingredient. To me it looks like wax. What do you think? So I can't really decide which colour I prefer. I think they all look really gorgeous. And the great thing about this uh, technique is that you can use any single colour that you would like because all you need to make this um, glaze or faux wax, whatever you want to call it, is acrylic paint and something else. And that something else, believe it or not, is actually my discarded face cream. There are so many great ways to finish off your DIY projects like waxing, glazing, dry brushing, washes and this to me is just another way of finishing off a DIY project and it mimics waxing or glazing pretty well I think. It probably doesn't have the protection of wax, no way, but the visual effect is pretty spot on I think. Um, let's just say it's a much cheaper version. 
So the face cream you need to use for this technique is a face cream for combination skin or oily skin. Don't use one for dry skin because that will be too greasy. Um, just get the cheap and cheerful ones, you know, you don't need anything expensive. If you're like me and you've got loads in the drawer that you don't use, you know, that's the perfect way to get rid of them. I have actually never used any other types of cream, but maybe they would work as well. So don't worry about your project being greasy. It won't be greasy as long as you use the cream that is made for oily skin or for combination skin. Um, I think it just evaporates like it does when it's on your skin, you know, or it sinks in or evaporates. And you're just left with normal dry paint. It just dries up normally as it normally would. Also, you can uh, put a sealer on top of it if you want. Uh, you just need to experiment, experiment. That's what I did. Experiment, 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 and just see what works for you. I think this works really well because uh, cream is transparent, really. And, you know, so you can add as much or as little paint as you want to make it darker or lighter. Um, and it just glides on really easily. So here I am using an old paintbrush to get into the difficult to reach areas as well. And as in waxing, um, when you put too much black wax on or antiquing wax on, you can use the transparent wax to wipe away the black wax or the uh, aging wax. Um, and you can do the same thing with this. You can just get the more, more cream out again and just add it onto it uh, with a, a tissue or something. Just wipe away and it will, you know, it will come away. And, you know, you just, you just play about with it until you find the result that you like best. So if you want to seal it, I'd give it a couple of hours to dry before you do that. So here is how I made it. So here is an example of the white version on a brown piece of card. guys that's my sneaky little trick i hope you may find it useful in future projects um obviously it's not going to be for furniture of course um just for small uh, diys you know like vases frames just the little things like that and i'll see you in the next video 
so thanks for watching guys bye Thank you.